What's going on, guys? Welcome back to uh, my Let's Play of Resident Evil 4. And today we're doing Chapter 5 2. And go ahead and watch that scene if you want. You can read uh, the paper airplane message. I'm in here. Feeling like I don't have enough explode. Ow, I just shot through him like three times. Fuck this part, dude. Can't keep using help. Oh, yeah, I can. I got shitloads of help. Notice there, the flash pump isn't under the uh, spiders, and I don't know why. Man. Nice. So this next room, there's a bunch of enemies. Pretty sure I'm talking about the right room this time. Anyway, and uh, collect all the drops right there. Hit this button. Uh, it's just like armor. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and say fuck that. Once you're back in here, like it'll initiate a cutscene. Now you're in like the garbage, pretty much. Anyway, right here, there's more of those regenerator enemies. Uh, probably just gonna go ahead and, and kill them. I really screwed myself here, dude. I didn't leave myself enough room to do anything. Yeah. I'm just gonna load the, uh, the checkpoint. Which should just be us landing. Yep, and it is. Right back in this room again. So really what you want to do is reload that. Hit the switch once, not twice like an idiot. And then run through immediately. And get yourself some room to deal with this. So like locking yourself in with these things. Doesn't make any sense. That's all his weak points. Hopefully this will do it. You can get through this part without killing these things. That's kind of a pain, and plus 20,000 gold right there, dude. Kind of a boss type enemy.
definitely run back away from that shit if he starts getting close. It does mad damage, man. You wanna get hit by him. And then right here. to use magnum ammo again. Uh, hopefully we can make these uh, 40,000 gold we just got for doing that worth it. I mean, I guess it really wasn't too bad. Your checkpoint door, now your 48,000 is safe no matter what. Oops. Did not mean to use Magnum for that. stuff. Holy shit. This is one of those parts where I'd recommend actually just uh, getting yourself killed a couple times to make it easier. Because it's a long sequence. Ashley has to um, basically be at these controls to move the wrecking ball thing. And you gotta like protect her and it's just a whole bunch of shit. a uh, health on her. Look, there's a gate here. See, like, that is such a cheap sequence right there. Fuck it, just kill me. Kill her, either way. Awesome, good job, guys.
look, there's a gate here. What? Oh, you know what? Fuck it, dude. Go ahead, bring it through the door. I'm not wasting resources on this part, man. Sorry, that's retarded. I'd rather get a couple fucking cheap deaths and have this part be not a pain in my fucking ass than the opposite. Has to be at least one. Oh boy. Fuck these things. It even seems like they give you more ammo when you just let them kill you a couple times. Pretty sure, like, everything gets easier. Like, before I had 10 handgun rounds. 50 TMP rounds. So, anyway, let's just see how true this theory is. Is the game getting easier because you just let it kill you a couple times? Right here, you have to obviously turn left and run. Seems to be the only thing that really works. As stupid as that is. them into the lava. they're throwing shit at Ashley. Here we go, another thing. Oh, come the fuck on, dude. How many? Uh, parts like this are so annoying, man. Fuck off, dude. Especially like when these things are throwing shit at you and you have to worry about stuff going on on the bottom at the same time. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it even seems like they've taken less bullets to take down now that I just let them kill me a couple times. comes more enemies, right? As soon as you get to the switch, you gotta come back out again. I know I heard another enemy, man. I'm not stupid.
Do 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 do. Anyway, just have her uh, have her operate the the wheel. Have it switch or whatever. They can make as many noises and drop in as much as they want. Just run through and get your checkpoint and they're gone forever. Anyway. This area has more uh, regenerators. Yep. Just a nightmare level, man. Just really a nightmare. Run back to the door. Should have had you guys reload first. Because it's going to be a lot tougher now. Without doing that. I'm probably going to die right here. Yeah. That was stupid. I'm going to be reloaded and be ready this time. So let's face it, like, you're not going to remember where every enemy is and stuff. Just doesn't make sense. Okay, and the spiky guys. I don't know, it's like weird. I guess certain ones of them, you don't have to keep shooting when you kill their weaknesses. And certain ones you do, so... Who the hell knows, man? Oh, anyway, here comes another one. One more, and we're golden. That yeah, we should be good. But these ones only drop a. Uh, to 5,000 instead of 20. It's not fair. Follow me. It's gotta be switched somewhere. And Earth doesn't remember where. I guess it must be this thing. Yeah. Oh boy. Do I hear another one of those things? I have my TV super low, so that there's no echo effect on the audio on these videos. So sometimes I can't hear stuff. Leave it to me, Leon. You want to save right there? I don't know why you would, unless you have to like, leave the house to do something. Good. What are you selling? But, uh, yep, let's see. Go ahead and sell those. <laughs> Damn, eighty-four thousand. You accumulate gold so fast at this point in the game. Um. Wow, I could buy another rocket launcher. Should I do it? Stranger, straight. Sure. Why not, right? 
Thank you. What are you uh, We can go ahead and tune up some. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do here? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Is that old? <laughs> Thank you. Is that old? <laughs> Thank you. you. Should have tuned that thing up a long time ago. Is that old? <laughs> Thank you. Come back any time. Yeah, you gotta have her wait at one and then hit square on the other. And then on the fourth beep, right when it hits, just hit square. I've never fucked that up, so I don't know what happens if you don't get it. I assume you just stand there for a second, then you do it again. pretty crazy. She drives this thing. Your weapon of choice is probably going to be the TMP right here if you have ammo for it. Of course, I don't have shit. Um, probably just going to use the handgun at least for now. So quick. I'm about to switch to the shotgun right here, man. What else can you do? You almost want them to be on, on the uh, truck. You miss out on the power ups they drop. that a couple times. There's a couple parts with those trucks, and if you don't get rid of them quick, uh, it plays like an instant death clip, and you instantly die. So right here, yeah, he starts coming at me again. have to make them explode in the front, shoot near the boxes, shoot like around where the driver's seat would be pretty much. You should be okay there. Anyway, one of those guys was nice enough to give me some TMP ammo. So that's what we're gonna use for this part right here. I'm leaving it to you. Of course she's leaving it to me, why wouldn't she? Absolutely no sense. Anyway, I always jump back down right here because of this. Because they'll attack Ashley and she'll die before you know it. Okay. Here 
go. Of course. Fucking second I jump up there. Look how much health they took, dude. One hit. She's like... Took like 80% of her health. It's fucking bullshit, man. Why would they be attacking her anyway? The villain in this game wants to capture her, not kill her. And that guy's still standing over there. Not even gonna bother. Takes all fucking day to reload, and now I'm gonna die. Dude, I'm about to let him kill me again. This is stupid as hell. What the fuck? How many hits does it take? Jesus. Got like an upgraded, like, second, third tier shotgun. Oh, I'm dead. All of a sudden, every enemy is a fucking thing with the shit popping out of its head. Here's the real fucking kicker. Right here, I'm supposed to be shooting this truck ahead of me. Yep. This fucking faggot killed me right when I went to do it. Like, come on, man. That's ridiculous. It's all normal fucking difficulty. There shouldn't be enemies coming at you from all fucking sides. You can't do shit. No fucking ammo for that. Regular handgun which doesn't do shit when you're like stuck on this little box with like a million of those fucking tentacle things. It's retarded. It couldn't be the fucking suplex that kills him. Never. Oh, it didn't headshot him, but it killed him. I've never seen that. Wow. More cheap horse shit. Amazing. This chapter's fucking stupid. This whole end part of the game is retarded. Like I said earlier, man. Like, the village and the castle are cool. Now it's just like an action fucking shooter. Like, hey, how many enemies can we throw at him at once, over and over? It's not horror, it's just like non-stop shooting and stupid shit. Don't even get me started on Resident Evil 6. That's like the worst shit ever. 
will never do a playthrough of that game. I will give them credit on uh, Mercenaries mode being pretty fun. Other than that... Oh! Ten headshots and then he fucking turns into a tentacle. Should be able to just get off the fucking truck here, dude. This is stupid as hell. I'm not fucking taking that hit, it's bullshit. There's nothing you can do, there's nowhere you can go. I have no fucking flash grenades. I have no any kind of grenades. I have handgun and shotgun and that's it. So I'm just gonna have to keep using the fucking shotgun, dude. I don't know what else to do here. It's annoying as hell. Yep, obviously the, the game took an easy uh, difficulty swing because that part was way easier that time. I don't need it to be real easy, I just uh, like it. Like right here, I want to be able to get off this fucking thing and go get all those power ups. Doesn't, they don't like get shit. Like right here. And that should be enough right there. Shoot the engine. <sighs> Make sure it blows up, kinda. Now we're in this next spot. Loot. Another merchant thing in here. Typewriter, if you want to save it. Yeah, I could have used a flash grid before, but thanks. Um, and then right here. You get a cinema, and you get the end of Chapter 5, too. So, man, that was frustrating. Um, and there's a lot of parts like that from here on out. It's just like a lot of enemies on screen at once. It doesn't feel like there's a, a much originality to it. Uh, it kind of feels like just tacked on. Like, they just wanted as much action as they could for the end because they didn't know what else to do. Or maybe they were under, like, a time constraint or whatever. But anyway, that's 5-2. Um, and now I'm going to take a break from this game and do another Red Dead Redemption review. So thanks for watching.